Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. Welcome to the newest, the greatest, the most spectacular show in entertainment history. Put your hands together for the fabulous Feebles Variety Hour. from a mongoose with throat cancer. I won't stand for this treatment any longer. I'm an artist. I demand respect. Artist? Oh, that's a good one. That's it. I've had enough. I'm going straight to bed. You do that, darling. What is going on over there? Heidi, where are you going? Trevor, you haven't upset her again, have you? You know what happens when she gets into a tiz. Oh, the old cow's had it too good for too long. Like it or not, Trevor, she's the star of the show. There's no feebles without Heidi. Come on, everybody. We're going out live in 12 hours. Heaven forbid injecting some urgency into this occasion. But for God's sake, get a move on! Have a good rehearsal, Miss Heidi. also our major draw card. Show some guts, Blatch. Get rid of her. God, wouldn't I like to. I'm not waiting around for Edda. Don't worry, honey. I'm working on it. <laughs> Excuse me, please. I wonder if you can help me. I have a letter here that requests me to report to the stage manager. I'm busy. Ask somebody else. Oh, well, no, you... you oh, dear. Excuse 
me, sir. I wonder if you can help. I have a letter here asking me to report to the stage manager. Oh, I don't know, man. It's been a hell of a day. I can feel a migraine coming on. I need a paracetamol. six months ago, and I've only just received written confirmation of my acceptance into the feeble chorus. Oh, yeah. I tell you what, kiddo. It's not that crash hot. They run you ragged, and the pay's lousy. Oh, I'm not worried about the pay. It's an honor just to get a chance to perform in the show. I've been an admirer of the Feebles for such a long time. Yeah. Well, you'll find it pretty tough on the wages they dish out, but if you ever want to earn a little extra on the side, I'm always interested in little stories. Anything spicy or even muddy. Hey, Arthur, there's a new boy to see you. There's more filth in this place than in the city sewers, and I pay good money for the right info. Here you go, kid. Don't hesitate to get You must be Robert. I've been expecting you. Pleased to meet you, sir. Oh, uh, uh, just call me Arthur. Here, you don't want that, son. He's a no-good muckraker from the gutter press. Got nothing better to do than make up lies and nasty stories about the cast. <laughs> Heidi, uh, you'll have heard of her. I certainly have. She's my favorite star. Excuse me, girls. Can I have your attention for a minute? I'd like to introduce you all to a new member of the chorus. I'm sure you'll all do your best to make you feel part of the feeble family. Come on, say hello, Robert. Don't be bashful. What a lovely song, Wills. That's Lucille. She's just joined the chorus as well. You two should get together sometime. Look what you've done. You've gone and got him all embarrassed. Come on, Robert Olsen. Uncle, there's a good boy. I think he fancies you, Lucy. Yes, it's true love, all right. Be the way he looked at you. Stop it! He's just an old hitchhiker. <laughs> Hopper basking in the sun, a dancing and a hopping, having lots of fun. A bit of sand landed in that hopper's eye, and the little sand hopper said, My, oh my, I got one leg missing. I got one leg missing. I got one leg missing. How do I get around? Shiny, shiny, fishy in the ocean blue. I swam into a sewage pipe, poo, poo, poo. Said, I'm in the shit, I better take a dive. Stuck his head out the water and began to dive. I got one leg missing. Do I get around? All right. What are you doing here, pincushion? Ooh. Uh, I was just watching the chorus. Hey, you're that new boy here, aren't you? Yes, I am. I just started today. I'm Wobbit. You may be Wobbit to your friends, but you're fly shit to me. Piss off. How do you get around? Yes, sir. Little Miss Amoeba, pretty as could be. I didn't Get know she was pretty, but she. She said, I better split and miss. She was too. They both began to chorus that way. Woo, woo, woo. I got one leg missing. One leg missing. I got one leg missing. I do, I, I do, I, 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 I do. I do, 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 I 
Never, please. I, I need it, man. I need it. I told you before, it's coming. Yeah, but uh, I, I, I got the shakes. Something bad. If I, if I don't get a fix, I, 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 I won't be able to fall. Listen, it'll be here, all right? Stop bothering me. I can pay for it. Thanks, Robbie. This will just about cover what you owe me. But that's all I have got. Well, you'd better find another 50 bucks before six. But that's all I've got. I do, I, I do, I, I do. I get around with one leg missing. One leg missing. I got one leg missing. How do I get around? Thank you, everybody. You've all mutilated that number rather nicely. We'll have another shot at it at 2.30 and perhaps put it out of its misery. Excuse me, Mr. Bleach. Sir, if I could have a minute of your time, I'd be waiting to see you all day. I've got a smashing little routine that I think will go down a tree. So, you want to join the Feebles? Oh, rather. Okay, son. I'll give you one minute. Impress me. Uh, <clears throat> it's one of my own compositions. It's called Glad to Be a Duffy. Boy, <clears throat> a fishy little fellow with a tiny sort of skin and a bullock in the shallows where the tide is coming in. Is something the matter, Mr. Bleach? I think I've got a cavity in a rear molar. Would you mind having a look for me? Oh, certainly. That's right at the back. Oh, it's all done here. Went down a tree, all right. <laughs> Hello, Lucille. You may not remember me, but my name is Robert, and I would just like to say that I think you are the most pretty girl that I have ever met, and I was wondering if you would uh, like to go to the movies with me tomorrow night. These flowers are for you. Maybe I should give her the flowers first. Oh, blimey. The poor little blight is smitten. <clears throat> Hello. These flowers are for you. They are white roses. I hope you like them. You may not remember me, but my name is Robert, and I was wondering if you would like to go to the movies. And then I tried on the lady costume, <gasps> and it fitted perfectly. <laughs> Hello. My name is Movies, and I'd like to Robert you with the... Yeah, Robo, son, come on in for a cup of tea. When are we due on a course? One o'clock sharp. It's all arranged. <laughs> How's your handicap, Barry? She's at home, baking a cake, boss. <laughs> <laughs> strain on your heart. If you're referring to my muscle tone, it's never been better. You must have awful trouble buying clothes. Still, at your age, I suppose you might as well let your figure go. How dare you insult me! You, you cheap pussy! You shudder and grin herbivore! No wonder Blitch can't stand the sight of you! You're lying! He loves me! He detests you! That's not true! You bore him to tears and you're awful in bed! <laughs> Right, Robbie, now you've got everything what I told you. She's in there now. So, you give it your best shot. Are you sure that this is a good idea? She'll love it. Go on, do your stuff.
you are my amour, what I adore, oh Lucy. This, this is the way that I must say how my heart feels, oh Lucy, oh Lucy, oh Lucy, oh Lucy. It's magic. Under the light of the Spanish moon, it is for love that I croon this tune. Lucille, Lucille, Lucille. <laughs> I'm terribly sorry. You must think I'm an idiot. I should never have done this. I promise you, I shan't ever bother you again. Robin, wait! How did you know I love the mink? Oh, beautiful. Just beautiful. <laughs> gonna do now. It took me six months to train that lot. Oh, not a bad little meat patty. Hmm. Good shot, boss. <laughs> You're a shot to Cedric. I told you to wipe my clubs. <laughs> I'm tempted to join the club myself. No chance of that, I'm afraid, Cedric. You mean they discriminate against squads? So no, we just don't like assholes in the clubhouse. Gee, Sid, I swear to decent of you to have me in for a lager after today's little mishap. Oh, no hard feelings, Arthur. It's just my bad luck. This sort of thing's always happening to me. Did I tell you Sandy slapping a paternity suit on me? Is that right? Yeah. She reckons that kid she dropped is mine. I'd like to see her prove it, though. She slept with after chorus. Has she? She hasn't slept with me. Oh, no. I wasn't suggesting anything. Like, you're a mate, Arthur. I know I can trust you. Oh, Christ! Here she comes now! <laughs> Certainly, the date's been set down as the 16th, and if you don't appear in court, it will be held over until the 21st, at which time you'll be compelled to provide a blood sample. Oh, God, Sandy, why did you bring it here? It's not mine, you know it's not. We'll let the court decide that, shall we? <laughs> It's 
got your eyes, Sid. <laughs> I hear they got some great swamps out that way. What's a cute young thing like you doing in the big smoke? I'm not so young. In two years, I'll be 18. Really? But you're so well developed. Mm -hmm. uh, vocally, I mean. My singing teacher said I have enormous lung power. I like your style, Heidi. Really? You've got a lot of class, but that sometimes ain't enough. I've seen a lot of girls like you ruined in this town. You need to make the right connections. And that's where I can help. Oh. Are you a producer? I aim to be. I aim to be the best goddamn producer this town has ever seen. I got the contacts. I got the capital. What I need is what you got. Talent. Oh. Heidi, I want to manage you. But... I don't even know who you are. They call me... Bletch. Bletch. What a lovely name. Tell me, Heidi, do those lips kiss as good as they sing? you'd like to inspect my range of clubs. <laughs> it's good gear, I can assure you. Of that I have no doubt. It's good stuff, boss. When can we expect delivery? Meet Louis in the alleyway at six. <laughs> Sorry, the touch of the two men. <laughs> it must be all this fresh air. It gives me hay fever. Oh, bad luck, old chap. <laughs> My apologies, Sonic. I had a bone stuck in my throat. My game. <laughs> 
I think. Ooh. Did I pass the audition, Mr. Blake? <laughs> of sticking your nose in where it's not wanted. Oh, I'm sorry. You ruined my take, kid. I never do two takes. I, I, I didn't know it was a film. Hurry it up, I'm freezing! I'm sorry for interrupting. I won't disturb you any longer. Uh, we'll skip the whipping. Let's move on to the blowjob. Where's the masked masochist? Oh, Christ! That's all I need is cart! Didn't you realize you were sitting on its face? Well, I felt a bit uncomfortable, but I thought it was my hemorrhoids. What the hell? Maybe I can sell it as a snuff movie. <laughs> Just the guy. Mm. Well, what do you know? It's Dennis on a smelly minge binge. Oh, gosh. Oh, just looking for the soap powder. Sure, Dennis. Have a whiff of these. They've got a real distinctive bouquet. Dennis, I've got a little job for you.
was wrong with that. Who is holding that red pennant? Me, sir. And what on earth do you think you're doing? I'm patrolling the moat, sir. Patrolling the moat? I see. You were instructed to stay upstage left. Italian pennant bearers of the 17th century were frequently known to patrol the rampart on the lookout for Turkish invaders. How very elucidating. I've been reading up on it, sir. My drama teacher at school said I should always research a role thoroughly. Really? Well, let me tell you something. This is a television variety show, not a homage to Soviet realism. Good grief. I asked for a pennant, not a pedant. All right, again, from the top. What is it? It's just... Well, I'm having trouble with my motivation. I don't understand why I would remain still when the scene itself suggests vigorous physical action. Danger, even. I suppose you'd like everyone to stop singing while you come forward to do a little war dance center stage, is that it? Well, it had crossed my mind. Oh, my God! Oh, sorry, Gov. Oh, I hate to interrupt, but it don't look like the knife thrower's assistant is going to pull through. Shall I cancel Winyard's act entirely? I think not. I've got just the substitute. Dennis does Daisy take one. Okay, Dennis, drop your strides. Uh, oh. Oh, come on, come on, the camera's rolling. Oh, for oh, uh, Christ's sake. Uh, uh, is that the uh, best you can do? Never do something about this guy. Come on, get aroused. I can't. Well, I'm not doing anything until he cracks the fat. Well, what's the matter? Doesn't she turn you on? Oh. Yeah, here you go. <laughs> Will these help? Oh, God, not another <laughs> panty slipper. He's going to want me to piss in his mouth, Matt. OK, kid, do your stuff. Ah! Oh! Oh, yes, yes! Oh, God, I feel terrible. Well, what's happening to me? What's the matter, Harry? Huh? Not feeling huh? too well? What? Who said that? It's all those late nights. Maybe you're not getting enough vitamins. <laughs> Care to join me for lunch? <laughs> oh, carrots. It's not one of yours, is it, Harry? You are sick! No, Harry. I think you are. What you got? Give me the rundown on your symptoms. Uh, I ain't got nothing, you, you shit-eating gun hole. Can't suppress the media, Harry. <laughs> Come on, you can uh, tell me. I'll be very discreet. Uh, I'm, I'm as fit as a fiddle. I, I feel fantastic. And I'm sick and tired of you. Oh, right there. I'm tired and I'm sick, says Harry the Hair, star of the People's Variety Hour. <laughs> Sounds like the germs of a good story. Leave me alone! You can't hide the truth, Harry. Whatever it is you've got, I'm going to find out, even if I have to make it up. <laughs> this is going to be a great scoop. Jesus, Trevor, have you got the stuff? I'm hanging out, man. I'll get you the money tomorrow. I promise. Hello. My name's Robert. Ah, oh, are you the new supplier? No, I've been sent by the director to assist you in your knife throwing routine. Oh, shit. I was wondering if you would like to practice. Oh, no, I don't know, man. I really don't know. It's not such a hot idea. Have you got any smack? Smack? Horse, liquid sky, skag, snow, coke, crack, methadone, benzodrine, pinky, sand pad. Morning Glory, Nutmeg, Blue Minis, Aspirin, Adas, Paracetamol, Vex, Vapor, Rub! Oh, oh, you don't happen to be an asthmatic by any chance. Could I borrow your offer? I don't take drugs of any sort. I don't believe it's right to abuse your body like that. Oh, well, that's easy for you to say. You haven't been to hell and back. No. Oh, you've been to Vietnam. I saw the worst of it, kid. Tap 
Great Offensive, 1968. Charlie had our backs against the wall. There were six of us. Oh, there were five of us. Every goat north of Saigon was drawn a bead of us. North of Taipei. Charlie was close. So close you could almost smell. Where's he, Paul? You better go back and look for him. In the days that followed, I wished a thousand times that it was my head on that stake. We are the water, the water, the water. You wait! You wait! I can't see! You bastards! Oh, God! They didn't see Chuck for two days. They thought he was a goner. But then on the third night, they brought him back to us. The bastards are taking his legs. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, 
Uh, it was six months before I got out of that Saigon hospital. By then, I was hooked on every barbiturate known to man. Gosh, what an awful time you've had. Uh, hey, kid, do uh, you want to express your sympathy in some kind of material way? How can I do that? Vietnam Vets Association. We're badly underfunded. A minimum donation of 50 bucks. Oh. Thanks, kid. The association was in bad need of a cash injection. Do you really think people are interested in nasal sex? Well, sure, boss. It's the latest fad. You got a title? I thought Dennis does Daisy. Nah, that's lousy. Well, how about anal antics? Shh. Anal antics. Not bad. It's got a certain ring to it. It'll appeal to the intellectuals. Do you think it'll do as well as our last release and win the Hooker Prize? <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm worried about Madame Bovine. We've lost money on our last two pictures. You want your replaced boss? I think the public are tired of big udders. Find someone young and petite. Sure thing, boss. Bring on the next act. It's a contortionist, Army Bogwan. I told him he wasn't needed for half hour. Uh, he'll be meditating. Well, you'll just have to interrupt him, won't you? Uh, oh, uh... Oh, never mind. I'll get him myself. Army, darling, I hate to intrude upon Nirvana, but you're needed on stage. Please do not interrupt me. I am travelling on the astral plane. Well, perhaps you could change your flight plan and grace us mere mortals with your presence. I am impervious to your cynicism. Listen to me, you double-jointed freak. If you're not on stage in five minutes, you can consider yourself permanently disembodied from the entire show. Bye! <laughs> Oh, good gracious, Harry! Somebody call a doctor! How are we feeling, Harry? Hot. Oh. I feel real bad, Doc. What have I got? I'll do some tests, but I don't hold out much hope. There's only one disease that fits these symptoms. <gasps> it's the big one, Harry. No, no, not the big I'll one! I'll have to notify the health authorities. They want a list of your sexual partners. For the last 12 months... It can't be true! It can't be! I've taken precautions! <gasps> Tell me, Doc. How long have I got? It's difficult to tell, but with a case as advanced as yours, 10, maybe 12. Months? Uh-uh. Hours. Oh. I'm sorry, Harry. Doc, can you do me one favor? Sure, Harry. Shoot. Don't tell anyone. Let me do the show tonight. Okay, Harry. I want to go out with my reputation intact. Can't carry me. <laughs> All right then, Arby, thrill me. Hippie shit.
head of America. You mean it's not part of your act? Pity. We could call it Passage to India. <laughs> oh, come on, come on, I'm going to talk. Somebody help him. It's no good, Gov. He's stuck fast. Oh, 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 we need our assistance, Gov. Please. Oh, God, this is it. This is the last straw. <laughs> Crisis on our hands. Winyard's killed his assistant. Our bee's out of action. Sid's routine is a complete write-off. We've got no alternative but to reinstate my song. No! Bitch, I'm sorry, but the show is in a shambles. This is a family show, for Christ's sake. The network would never allow it. But it's a superb piece of song and dance. I know it'll go down fabulously with the public. I demand it be included. Your filthy paws off my furniture! We, we've got a wonderful new interpretation, and it's fully rehearsed. It, it sort of goes like this. Watch. The chorus comes in, stage left. And there's a lovely little bit with the piano, and that's where I come in from upstage. And I sort of pirouette, and, and the strings are swirling around me. And if you can imagine, the cellos are coming in at this point. Oh, wow, wow, wow. And I leap across the nod. Ah, 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 I say, Black, put me down. I've had just about enough of your goddamn compositions. Now, get back on the stage and do your job. <laughs> Something to take away, maybe? The Black Forest Cherry Kick? Mm. Hi, Harry. Just doing a bit of undercover work. <laughs> that rash on your groin looks pretty ugly. Don't taste too good, neither. Yeah, get out of my bed, you parasite! Hold it right there, Harry. That's great! <laughs> I have no fatal disease. I'm perfectly healthy. Let me just see what Dr. Quack has to say. Ahem, <clears throat> quote. There's only one disease that fits these symptoms. It's the big one, Harry. Unquote. <laughs> oh, great pathos. Move your hand away. I want some shots for you. Oh, what do you want from me, Mummy? I'll pay you anything. Oh, sorry, Harry. You could never pay me like this. Wait, wait, I'll give you my life insurance policy. Life insurance? Ooh, now you're talking. Come over here. I'll, I'll sign it over to you. Great, I'll be able to cash it in this time tomorrow. <laughs> nice try, Harry. I gotta go. We both have deadlines to meet. Get it, Harry? Deadline? <laughs> That's not a bad one. Stop press. Hold the front page. I got an exclusive. <laughs> there, there, you stucky 
it in the wrong way round. I'm sorry. I didn't know worms had nerves. And ever since the night of Vietnam, he's been a hopeless drug addict. It made me realize just how lucky I am. How lucky we both are. <sighs> I'm so glad we decided to get engaged. Good luck for tonight, Lucy. Are you nervous? Just a bit. Me too. Actually, I'm terribly nervous. This is my first show. You'll be wonderful. I know you will. <sighs> I hope I'm not interrupting. I was just dressing for the show. So I see. What do you want? Oh, a moment of your time. We've got something to celebrate. What's that? Your new career. Lucille, I'm gonna put you in the movies. Movies? Oh, I've been watching you for some time. You've got that indefinable something. Star quality. Oh, that's my real ambition. To be in film. Oh, I've got a meaty part for you. Will I have to audition? That's what I'm here for. I feel woozy. Here, let me loosen your clothes. Oh, oh it's beautiful. Right for oh. God, my dear. Oh. Lucille, you left this in my womb. Take a hike. Can't you see that we're busy? Lucille! Oh, Jesus! Robert? You've been winking! <laughs> it's okay. I finished with her anyway. <laughs> oh, go for your life, kid. She's a real good ride. How could you do this? Robert! Uh, Lucille, how could you? No! Robert! Wait! Where is she, for God's sake? Look at the time! It's all right, Gav. Miss Heidi's arrived on stage. At last. From the top. On a magic night, when the way you feel is a mystery, it will be revealed. Overeating again. No, I haven't. There is black forest cherry cake in your cleavage. Oh, how did that get there? You know what chocolate does to your system. It was only a small way. Your contract specifically states you are forbidden to eat ghetto on the day of a performance. 
I was depressed. You're depressed? We're going out live in three hours, for God's sake. Don't speak to me like that. You don't understand. Yes. Why don't you understand? Very, very old. this borax. You seem a bit congested, Louis. Maybe your passages need cleaning out. Oh, I don't understand. See, or... No, 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 not that. No, Mr. Blitz, please. <laughs> you liquidated him real good, boss. Time we paid our Mr. Big a visit. Blitz, I'm sorry. The show's off. What the hell are you talking about? Heidi's refusing to perform. The network won't proceed without her. They've cancelled the live transmission. What do you mean? Of course she's performing. I'm sorry, Blitz. She's locked herself in a room and won't talk to anyone. <laughs> Give me five minutes. It's all over. Go home, everybody. It's kaput. Finish you. Oh, it's all off. Oh, my goodness. Oh, steady me, bud. I think I'm going to fail. Heidi, 
It's Bletch. <laughs> Heidi, I, I, I want to make love to you. Bletch. You're driving me crazy. Uh, quick, come over here and undo my buttons. Mad, impetuous brute. I knew you'd come. Somebody call the network. The show will go on. I got out my razor and slit his throat. Then I bugged the bastard. <laughs> oh, screw it, Cedric. It's bad enough getting wasted, but to have your last living memory being rooted by a Scott soccer <laughs> That's what I call a real bummer, mate. Oh, hey, what's that? Oh, Christ, look at that! I'm covered in ambergris. 
Congress. Where's Harry? He's meant to be here. Uh, lose the camera tonight. Arthur, have you focused the spot? Where's Harry, for God's sake? Don't look like Harry's going to perform. He's had a bad trip. Oh, no problem, no problem. Um, we'll bring the Garden of Love forward. We're on a roll, everybody. Ooh, Miss Heidi, you look radiant. Dorothy, I feel radiant. Tonight will be the performance of my life. <laughs> Tell me if you want to, Harry. It's too late. It won't make any difference. The story's already gone to press. Yeah, you overgrown maggot. You're bluffing. Am I, Harry? No. Extra, extra. Read all about it. Famous people has death row sex disease. Congratulations. You're front page news. Extra, extra sex disease strikes female fraternity. Thank you, ma'am. Extra, extra sex disease. Thank you, sir. Jesus Christ, do you know anything about this, Trevor? Not a thing, boss. Why couldn't that goddamn bed hopping bunny keep his member to himself? Who wrote this crap? I got a good idea, boss. Find him. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. Welcome to the newest, the greatest, the most spectacular show in entertainment history. Put your hands together for the fabulous Feebles Variety Hour. <laughs> Historic moment, Father. Tonight we rocket into superstardom. What did that be a part? It's more than this. A hippopotamus? Unconditionally guaranteed to send you when you make the feeble. Hey, Trev. I got 50 bucks, man. I gotta have it. I'm on real soon. This is serious, man. Look at my hands. Come with me. He's had a real advantage, Mr. Blitch. Would you like one, Arthur? Would I ever? Thanks for meeting, Mr. Blitch. You're a scholar and a jet. I've had one of these since my twenty-first. He's a real man! Smoke ain't he, Mr. Blitz? Syndicated series, huh? Well done, Sebastian. Oh, I can see the headlines now. Director's artistic genius makes feeble evening outstanding success. I gotta go on. I gotta go on. My public loves me. I can't disappoint them. Robbie, we have to talk. We have nothing to say to each other. I, I want to tell you what I thought you were nice. I am nice. No, you're not. You're loose. <laughs> and you dwink. No. <laughs> you're nothing but a loose lash, Lucille. And and I never want to see you again. Nice. 
Say, everyone, who's that dirty person who did the great big stinky poo that's blocking up the toilet? Gotcha! Must you be so disgusting? Oh, yes! Stories again, haven't you? You got a problem with the article? <laughs> My kitty editor. That won't be necessary. <laughs> well, what do you know, boss? A left wing reporter. We can't have a biased press, can we, Trevor? No, boss. <laughs> Now that's what I call an impartial journalist. <laughs> Hello, Fletch. Heidi, what the hell are you doing here? Congratulations. The show is a wonderful success. What do you want? How you can do this afternoon was so brief. I thought you might like a second helping. Mm. Heidi, for Christ's sake, put your dress back on. Come and sit next to me. If it's too hot for you, I can turn on the air conditioning. I'm hot, Fletch, but not the way you think. You're not feeling shy, are you, Fletch? Do you remember that time in Paris? We didn't leave the hotel for three whole days. I remember all right. I had to go to the hospital with severe chafing. Kiss me, Blanche. Get away from me, oh. shuddering mound of blubber. Have you any idea how revolting you look? Blanche, no. You disgust me. Look at you. You're old and you're fat and you smell bad. No. I was going to wait till after the show, but I might as well tell you now. You're through with the feebles. I don't need you. I got a syndicated series, and I'm grooming Samantha to be the star. No. I hope you enjoyed tonight. That was your last performance. Now, get out of here! Someone who needs no introduction. Not in front 
world of all the people. What I have to say, I want the world to know. He may look like a lovable old picadurn, but he's a steaming great shit. Goodbye, life. Hello, death. Good to see you, man. Pull yourself together! Pull yourself together! Your neck is tough! Have you ever noticed the beautiful lighting in this toilet? You must be patient, but as soon as I was up the double to another story, he had his pleasure and left me with dust! Good conditioner works wonders on me. Good. Oh, oh, no, oh, 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 sorry, guys. I was I'm on in five minutes. Stop you. I think you'll find the safety cages on. Oh, eat lead, you man stealing slut. Saved your test results, and guess what? I made a boo boo. A boo boo? Yeah, Harry, you're in the clear. You just got a bad case of bunny pox. Take two aspirins and stay in bed for a week. I'll send you my bill. <laughs> Sorry, you must think it very oddly. 
that I enjoy the act of sodom. You might call the wrath of God on me, but if you tried it, then you might agree that you enjoy the act of sodom. Don't worry if you feel ashamed, it's been around for years. Thousands more than can be named are interested in reels. Don't worry about hell, no harm will come to your soul. We're not all Pentecostal, but everybody's got an asshole. Let me tell you about sodomy. Hey, you must think it very odd of me. But I enjoy the act of sodomy. Hey, you might call it off a bar on me. But if you try to, then you might agree that you enjoy the act of sodomy. It might just improve your sex in the heart and the follow. A fact that fundamentalists find difficult to swallow. So join me as I sing of an activity that's fun. Open up your ring and try it from to bum 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 You must think it very odd of me that I enjoy the act of sodomy. You might call it off a god on me, but if you try to, then you might agree. Trevor. Yes, boss? I want that fudge packer eliminated. Now put that gun down, Heidi. You're not solving anything by massacring people. <laughs>
sake! I... I still love you! Miss Heidi, I know you're a real star and all that, but I'm afraid I'm going to have to dob you in. Could you do one last thing for me, Arthur? Anything, Miss Heidi. Play the Garden of Love. Flower. 